First at five tonight, 800 local families forced to come to court for something they have not given their children. Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Laura Evans. More than 2,000 Prince George's County students have not gotten their state-mandated shots. Tonight, an ultimatum to some of those parents, come to court, get the shots, or else. Fox News' Sherry Lee, live in Forestville, to explain this one. Sherry? Laura, some students here in Prince George's County Schools have missed up to a month and a half of school because they have not gotten their vaccinations for chicken pox and hepatitis B. Now the school system says it's time to get tough and take those parents to court. Free clinics, free shots, door-to-door -door visits, and countless letters. Still more than 2,300 Prince George's County students don't have their required immunizations. We need those students immunized. We need them in schools. We need them safe. This Saturday, more than 1,600 students and their parents have been ordered to appear in circuit court for the children to be immunized. Health workers will be on hand to give the shots immediately. We can do this the easy way or we can do this the hard way, but it's going to have to get done. The problem is a new law that took effect last year, requiring students in the 5th through 10th grades to also have the chicken pox and hepatitis B vaccine. Parents who don't show up in court and who don't comply could end up fined or in jail. I mean, I shouldn't, I don't think it should have came to that in the first place. You know as a parent that you, your ch kids need their shots. Those that are immunized and those that aren't, aren't could pass on some diseases. That Although... Now, it may seem unusual for children to be uh, immunized by court order, but the Supreme Court has actually ruled on this very issue more than 100 years ago with smallpox. The school system says they do make exemptions for religious purposes or other medical reasons, but you have to apply for that exemption. Now, if parents do not show up in court, they could face a $50 fine and up to 10 days in jail.